Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back, back to, to Cougar, Cougar Talk, Talk Weekly, Weekly with Cougar Cougar's Bay. <clears throat> Today, um, <laughs> you, you notice, notice my voice is a little bit rough because I'm sick. Um, yeah, yeah, I know it sucks, sucks but um, I, can't I can't really do much, much on that. that. But, but uh, we are going to be talking about a couple of stuff that's going, going on in the yeah, forum, so, so let's get, get to, to it. it. <clears throat> the first, first one is, do we need more guild slots than the five we have? Um, um, H. H. Rockburn has says, says many, many players play many, many roles, many aspects of this game. With, with the game maturing and, and variety, often your social guild does not cover enough expertise, expertise like-minded, dedicated, dedicated for lore, lore and game, game trials, decorating, decorating trade, PvP zero, PDO, whatever. whatever. Perhaps, Perhaps even a guild just to share with a few friends or for more storage. storage. Perhaps, Perhaps a guild because the 100 limit on your friend list, etc., etc. Um, <clears throat> a couple of people, 31% says 5 slots is more than enough, 9% says 5 slots is just fine, 41% though says some more would be great, and 17% say why not 10. Uh, Danny Cat says, I can't speak for anyone else obviously, but for me 5 is more than enough. I don't think I've ever been in more than 3 guilds at a time. Um, and then Endgame, Endgame Smug, Smug says, I intend, I intend to, to buy more accounts in the future, so that would be great to be able to utilize them in this regard for sure. I'm, I'm in no real guilds except my own. And Havoc Sunny Guild says, Five is enough. Um, some, some more would be great from Sparta XOXO, XO, XO, trade, trade, PvP, PvP housing, social, social roleplay, play, serious about group content. content. And then, and then the an next guild for an additional trade or something. Or something. To, to me, seven, seven would be the perfect number. number. I also I like, like that the number, number because it's, it's a lucky number. number. <clears throat> to, be to be honest, honest I, think I think seven is seven, seven or eight would probably be the, the sweet spot. spot. Because um, I, would I would love to have another guild that I could, like right now, I have my storage guild. I have Cougar City. I have Five Finger, Legion of Azur. And Valhalla. Um, I, would I would love to get another guild slot to go and join, and join our baby guild, which is the Blue Fishies. And, and then um, two, two other slots for like a trader or you know just a social guild in itself. Um, I like to play tribute a lot, so I could see myself joining um, like tribute players club. And then another trading guild. Um, out, out there, there I, would I would probably um, holler at Tiffy for Diagon Alley. Um, that's a very good trader guild in our uh, server. <clears throat> so those that would be my specific uh, idea. Now, I mean, it really depends. So, um, <clears throat> and Phenom says you can have mine. I don't use them. And Kizuki says got a trading guild, my own guild, my storage guild, my social guild, and my raiding guild. Can, can need some, some more space. space. It's, it's too limited. Um, I, I personally don't necessarily need more storage space. space. Um, it, would it would be wonderful, but, but um, I, I don't need it. it. I've, I've talked, talked about having the guild, guild slot um, like, like start, start at five hundred for a guild, <clears> and, and then, then like I think five hundred spots at ten, and then like six hundred at one hundred. 700 to 200, 800 to 300, 900 to 400, 400 and, and then 1,000 to 500. 500. So, so it gives you 1,000 spots to, to, to give guildies a chance to have, you know, their stuff. Um, <clears throat> or give it to, like, a little wiggle room. So, like, between 450 and 500, it's 1,000. Between uh, 350 and 400 is, is 900. Something like that. Um... That, that way, way like, like it, it promotes, promotes a little bit more space, space to the guilds but uh, i really do think um, um i would <clears throat> i would definitely say some more would be great um and 41 percent of the people agree with me i, I do think um sparta XO so says seven would be perfect but i think eight might be the right, right number. number. Um, it, it gives me three trading guilds, um, social guild, two social guilds, um, a raid guild, and then you know a couple of storage and such. <coughs> so there, there you go. go. That's that's the um, that's that's the shenanigans there. So there, there we go. go. Now, now <laughs> I, don't I don't know if a lot of you have seen what's going on. Cloud Rose, Cloud Overload. 
um, the, the mechanic has been changed in Cloudrest to where it actually will sap you and the players around you if you do not bar swap. So if you're in one more open soul, that's not going to be a thing anymore. Um, a lot of people have been doing Griffin Art and just a lot of <clears throat> content with this easy, crazy one bar sort build. Um, um, technically, you can do it with any class, class like, like not just sort. Um, I know Nightblade can do it. I know probably Dragon Knight can do it. Um, Templar, Templar might be able to do it. it. Like it's it's, it's crazy, but sort is probably the better one. But um, it, it works in all the classes, classes really. Now, now <laughs> um, a couple, couple of us were talking, talking about this last night. night. And, and I, I do strongly agree with this change, change um, um, but it, it really sucks, sucks for those players that are just not able to to, to do uh, what, what they needed to do. And there is a, a fix later that I can uh, that, that I can talk to you guys about. Um, but uh, uh, we, we were talking, talking about a fix was, was just to nerf that, that CP slot and just knock it down by fifty percent, and that's the the. Sword, sword is going to be strong, but, but it's not going to be as strong as it is now. Um, you'll, you'll still be able to hit like a good 80k. Um, um, to be honest, you should, should be able to complete a lot of content with the 80k, 80K um, sword, um, especially if you have other people around you that are hitting a lot higher. So, so it doesn't um, basically hinder the whole group. Um, now, as far as you know, you know the, the whole group full of full, full, full of sorts. I personally did not like it because they really didn't need a healer. Um, most of the groups that I've seen do stuff, they were they were doing it with what ten DPS, uh, two sorts I think, two or three sorts were putting the matriarch, the rest were putting the tormentor, and then that's how they heal people. Um, I mean, you're missing buffs. Um, you're, you're missing out on the heals and such as well, the buffs that the healers bring. Not only that, but just overall the content, you're missing how it should be played. Um, now I'm not trying to be mean or anything to everybody, but how it should be played, you know, it's, there's a reason why Sauce invented this Oaken Soul Ring. And, and the, the way, way it's getting, getting used, used by everybody, everybody and anybody is, is not, not the way. way. Um, I, I was super happy when this first came out because I was like, yes, this is perfect for, for those people that need the, the one bar. They, they can't, can't, you know, physically um, have that in, in their, their arsenal. arsenal. So, so this, this is great, great for those kind of players. players. And, and then, then we have the lazy players that get on that one bar build and. I, I hope to God that they nerf this because they're going to fall flat in their faces um, whenever they can't do a rotation after this is nerfed even more. Because once this goes away, um, which, I mean, it's going away from Cloudrest right now, um, but once this goes away, you guys are going to feel the pretty, pretty rough uh, perimeters of it because people are not parsing. Um, they, they don't, don't need to parse. parse. This, this is an easier, easier it's, it's mindless. mindless. Like, I've, I have one for PvP, which is pretty sick. He's really good at battlegrounds and, and such, but I don't, I don't battlegrounds much, and I don't PvP much. Um, if, if, I, if I did, I probably wouldn't be playing that. Um, I would be playing a more heavily, uh, situation with sword or, you know, tempo or whatever, it doesn't matter. And I would actually embrace the the better a, a little bit more but, but um yeah, yeah. so, so Healy over here says the overload mechanic with Cloudrest that was bugged if you didn't have a weapon slot back bar now works again you will wipe your group and die if you don't have a weapon swap back bar this is probably the best news to come from this patch is all players should deal with mechanics equally no one the build yes I agree um <laughs> and then Virtus says this, that mean players under level 15 will also wipe their group because they cannot slot a second weapon at all. It's, it's an easy enough trial on normal. I don't even know, can you, can you go in there at level 15? 
Shoot, if you can go I mean, it is what it is. And, uh, interesting, interesting it was a bug. Seems like they didn't even anticipate it anyone would be barless someday. Uh, yeah. And, and, um, this Lord draw says, players who abuse this bug to get the path to Alex on achievement should lose it because normal groups which use two bar builds couldn't skip this mechanic during BCR plus three, which is totally unfair for everyone. This was the violation of terms of services. I don't know about that. Um, and I mean, they, they weren't exploiting the game in my opinion. Um, and, and then Sparta XO says, says it, it wasn't a reported, reported as a bug, so players, players should not be punished like, like it was one. All werewolf players that used their ultimates since the trial started would have to lose their ultimates going back years for something they couldn't help. Trials get nerfed, sets get changed, etc. Someone who had an achievement when things were easier still got the achievement by playing the game as it was presented to them. Nobody should ever be punished for that. I agree. I'm 100% with this, um, I 100% agree with this, uh, Sparta XO. So, I agree, they shouldn't be punished for something that was in the game. Um, they just took advantage of it, and I highly, highly understand that. Um, and to be honest, this isn't really killing the game in a way, it's not like the survey glitch with the banker where it killed the economy, um, so it's not anything as big as that, it's just an achievement, like, come on now, um, and yes, I hate that people got Griffin Heart and such with it, but, like, legit guys, come on now, like, I, I could care less about that, um, most of the trials that, most of the groups, the endgame groups, they, they will ask for POVs, POVs and, and I can guarantee you that people are laughing at the people that are submitting the one bar sword POVs, so don't even fret about that, because if a group is very um, serious enough for trifectas, they're not going to allow one bar sword um, to, to go in there with, with everybody. So there you go. Um, and he only says, don't think so, just let the sauce actually went ahead and fixed it despite the negative feedback. We will see from players who were aware it was a bug but went ahead and used it anyways. I mean, even if it was a bug, like, it's fine, it's not gonna kill the game, it's not gonna kill the, the economy, um, it's not really gonna kill anybody, it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then Sparta says, Actually, looking at the patch notes, I don't see this listed. If it's not listed, this change could be the big, or perhaps is the only meant to work this way. I bet. Is this a fix or a change? It's, it is, is it supposed to work in all versions, or just bet? Or perhaps just bet plus three? Normal may include low level players and don't have the option to swap. I agree. So, like, if it's for bet, I can definitely see that. Um, DJ Virtual says, it still boggles my mind, um, all the hate and animosity for one, one bar builds, but gives any player the right to tell any other player how to play the game. It's just a game, it's a build option that the developers put in the game. If you personally don't like one bar builds, then it's your right not to have them in your group. I agree with that. But that shouldn't keep others from being more inclusive with their groups. Also, I thought it was a no weapon or skills in the back bar. I agree with DJ, I get it. If you want to play... The, the way, way you play, play the game, game that's, that's fine. fine. Um, um, and, and like I said, I'm not hating the, the one bar build. build. I just think um, there's, there's players that are relying too much on that when they, they can fully do a two bar concept. concept. They're, They're just being a little bit lazy. lazy. And um, I, mean, I mean, if you can, can do a two bar build and this, just, just fine. I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that are just making it as a way out. He says. People can play how they want, but should deal with the same mechanics. If somehow bow users took zero damage from direct damage as a bug, you wouldn't see people defended it on the forums. The only reason people defend this bug was because it gave them an advantage. One more players can still play, just not with open soul equipped anymore. Um, I agree. I agree with this. Um, 
it, it does, does give them, them an advantage. advantage. <laughs> because they, 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 they weren't dealing they, they weren't dealing with the mechanic. mechanic. That's, That's what it was. was. Like you, you didn't god the mechanic, you didn't spark the mechanic to anybody. Like come on now. Like I get it, but they were getting around a very, very mechanic heavy situation. So um uh, let's see. Okay, so Nalandia says, I've seen a log from someone testing yesterday. They went to Reliquin directly in VCR. Rather than pulling with Samago, the people who received Voltaic were using Oaken Soul with no back bar. The damage was far higher than last patch, and it spread to group members. This is definitely different from last patch. Uh, one, one more, more player, player in the group seems yes, yes it was fixed but now one, one more player just won't get it at all <laughs> oh my god so like it's it's, it's, it's messed, messed up again, again. oh, oh my, my goodness, goodness. <laughs> oh jesus so what, what does, does that, that mean if all the players are one more sorts like <laughs> oh jesus oh, oh my goodness, goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. I, I, I don't know. Anyways, Anyways going, going to, to that, that, I said there was a fix. Um, um, fix number one was the, the whole, you know, change to CP. Um, but crash test over here has a fix number two. We'll take overload as fine as is. So instead of changing that mechanic, let open players bar swap and have their back bar be a mirror of their front bar. Um... Yeah, I guess. It, it was still essentially a one bar build because both bars, gear, and skills would be the same, but now they have to play out via like, like everybody else. else. Okay. This, this change could be made to Vet Cloud Race only or to Oaken Soul itself. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I guess I could see that. that. Uh, uh, agreed. agreed. Seeing this, this idea posted a lot as a reply to the saying Open Soul users should have to bar swap. Hopefully that means all the Open Soul hate can settle down as this seems like a fair solution. I agree! This is actually a very fair solution. If you're not going to change it, this actually would not be bad. Um, I do think that if they bar swap, it would, should punish them for the mirror on their... No, it shouldn't be a mirror. I think it should be just a blank back bar. Um, because, because you're, you're, you're already, already a little, little bit above, above everybody else, else so. Or, or add a 30 second, second cooldown every time player changes bars. bars. Um, <laughs> and then Axie's like, I have a crazy idea, on slot Oaken Soul and, ju and adjust your setup accordingly, you can still play as a viable one more building cloud rest without Oaken Soul. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean. Um. <laughs> I, I, I really, really do think the whole let him bar swap, swap but have it to where um you don't, don't have skills, skills. so, so you, you're, you're kind of fucked um and then tragic dawn says open soul ring, ring is a mythic, mythic that, that comes with you get good stuff but you have to pay the price for it in mine the, the penalty, penalty is disabling weapon swap, swap with, with all the consequences that come with it. The, the benefit, you get an exchange is a lot of the name buffs. Now, now sure, people turn the penalty of inability to bar swap into an advantage, but OP proposition in its nutshell is reducing the penalty associated with the item without adjusting the benefit you get for exchange. And personally, I am of the opinion that mythic of this level benefit should not be universally viable. In similar, similar vein to other strong methods, methods kill drops off uh, its benefit if you get hit, pale order, order decreases its inefficiency with each group member up to no certain up to no benefit at certain group sizes. It is my understanding that a lot of efficacy or of the open soul heavy attack build can be replicated with mirror walls, and replacing one ability with whatever cheapest to cast mage guild skill with relevant passive to obtain a power buff. Sure, there will be some DPS drop from lack of certain buffs that Oaken provides you will still be dropping off, but it should still be able to clear DPS checks of aftermath and trials. Um, yeah, I agree. 
<laughs> the Sora says, you really don't need Oaken Soul. Make a Necro, do a Power and Grasp, and there's more like one heavy attack. You already get most of the buffs anyway. That's true. <laughs> um, and uh, this guy's like, stop hating on everyone who uses two bars that the game was originally designed. Instead, let's discuss helpful changes such as OP is proposing to enable all builds to participate in content. I agree. I don't mind people participating in content. I just do not think that basically this mechanic should be like surpassed by anybody. That's all I'm saying. Um, I didn't, I mean, I did not like the fact that, that it was like that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, let's, let's go to something else. Um, apparently we have new achievements for, um, PvP. And, um, apparently, I don't know, if this is, if this is character locked, this is rough. Because there's, uh, stuff you gotta do with, um, all alliances. Like, you have to capture 100 resources on Cyrodiil. Um, let me see if I can, uh... Yeah. So, so capture 100 resources in Cyrodiil, capture 50 keeps, kill 1,500 players, complete conquest missions um, to get the title. And that's for all of the three alliances. Um, that's rough, because if this is character locked, then you're gonna have to buy an alliance change token like this parrot on 1996. Um, he's like, these new achievements are really shocking. I've got 18 characters, all EP, and effectively I'm now excluded from being able to get these achievements. I have 18 characters with crafting max out, traits, research, mounts level, so the leading one or two is a massive amount of rework. Or I can pay in real game, in real life money, and get an alliance change from the crown store just to go and get these, which is really poor. There are no other achievements in the game which stick like this, and it just screams as a way to get people to pay. Um, um, I agree, um, but I mean, I get where Sauce is trying to get there. Um, and then sorry, it's like, my PvP guild has a rule that you're not allowed to be in Serial when other factions are in guild runs. Um, so don't go into the same campaign. Like, come on now. Um. And Tensor's like, nice, you can't unlock PvP achievements with staying loyal to your alliance. This is stupid. Um, Dirt to Khan says, I have no issue with this. I lines change all my characters to TP and I have no intention of bringing glory to the Daggerfall Covenant or Old Mary Dominion. I, however, I'm not a completionist. <laughs> oh, man. And, uh, Holy Cannoli says, those achievements give even more reason to use the unlock campaigns. They're already used to swap Emperor achievement and farm AP. Now they can be used to cheese these achievements. It's true. That's, that's what I'm saying. Um, like, like people, people are loyal are anyway. <laughs> They're not. Um, this certainly screams hoops for the sake of hoops to me. Having to repeat the same thing on all three lines this is not actually new content. It's just doing the same thing three times over, which for many will require spending extra time to raise new characters. Or you could just do it. Um, I mean, come on, PvPers, like. We do this in PvE a lot too. Like we spend the same amount of time doing the same amount of trials. It's the same thing. It's just a different, um, a different thing. I mean, it from from what it seems here, I don't think it's character lock, so that's okay. Um, and then this guy says I have eighteen characters. Well, f buddy, you're getting. 
another character to you getting two more slots when the arcanist comes out that's a perfect way to make an arcanist um ad and then an arcanist dc if you want or it doesn't matter level up the other tunes come on now like you'll be okay you'll be okay um, you can also pay uh, in-game gold and just get the alliance tokens from somebody. Like, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you don't want to pay in real life money, there's ways to buy crowns in the game um, and ways to buy stuff from the crown store. So, um, yeah, I, sorry, but no. If if this is character um, locked, then I can definitely be upset. But if it's not character locked, if it's account wide, then dude, chill out. Like, PV years have way more work than this. So, there you go. Alright, so we have new dungeon system, the player. In my opinion, this would be a way to bring the game what they call quality of life improvements. There are numerous dungeons, the ones that are played the most are those involving obtaining the famous four keys. All the other DLCs have terms that are referred to obtaining a new set. So I asked Sauce, what is the point of releasing all these new DLC dungeons if in reality they are not played much in the end game? Well, they are, actually. Um, and then it says, wouldn't it be better to update the new dungeon system, maybe create sets that can only be obtained through tokens by playing the DLC dungeons? Maybe I'm wrong, but in the end, these DLC dungeons, especially in veteran, are rarely played. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are so wrong, sir. Maybe I'm PC. But um, a lot of players actually play the DLC dungeons in bed to get motifs for the Undaunted daily. Like, it's... I don't know why, but this is... I mean, I do like the little token idea um, on top of it, but um, I don't think they need to change it. Um, and... I mean, Sauce is doing just fine with the way the dungeon system is. But I do like the whole, like, token idea. That's that's fine, but not changing everything else. <laughs> um, and he says, I've seen DD's players queue up for DLC dungeons in 2022 and play in 23. It wasn't the 31st. Some DDs queued up on March 13, and today they want a refund for their money spent on crafts and not even play it. I've seen DDs pay tanks 50k gold to play the new DLC. I've seen things ESO players can't imagine. Um, and the Necrotech Master says, So the new two-person infinite dungeon system they're coming out in Q4 is not a new dungeon system? LOL. Um, and he's like, I saw it now, but no, not look like an endgame update, but a way to level up characters and dungeons with one friend. Oh, uh, that's true. I mean, I don't mind it. Um... And Anamar says, I for one am very interested in how they will approach this, what sort of rewards we'll be able to earn, will there be wandering bosses, will there be great rewards, will there be a safe progression, will there be puzz uh, puzzles to solve, will there be new sets, will there be hard mode. Um, <laughs> and Sororor says, dungeons are played, bit DLC dungeons have been my main content for some time now, for some time now. and before that I made normal DLC dungeons and overland questing. Heck, if you don't believe me, I posted a poll asking people if they enjoyed doing onions, and well, plenty of them do. And there's the link. Uh, let's actually check that link out. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, a bunch of people said yes. As for tanking the new dungeons, I wouldn't pug them as a tank either, at least not, um, SH, whatever. Uh, what I think would elevate dungeons more would be, like, more, like, an ultra hard mode pass. Where all the dungeons get an ultra hard mode, but I think they're fine as right now. I have my favorites, they're fun. Um, and Stank says most people group for these using guilds rather than group finder. Also, we know nothing about the new dungeons, so claiming to know its purpose is fruitless. Exactly, a lot of people just queue up in guilds. They don't queue up in guild finder. I mean, they are group finder, they do, but you don't know what you're gonna get in that. Um, anyways. Um, thank you guys for watching, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, checking that out, and, um, the, there's gonna be a Cougar City housing contest, is coming soon, uh, same with the Trails of Tribute, so that's, that's, that's coming, um, 
the Cougar City Boosters, Cougar's Bass, Core Music, Hold On, X Reading X, and Mark 271. We need more peace to support the Discord and Boost, so if you would like to do that, please do so. Uh, but make sure you are not using that money um, in a non-good financial way, because we still want you to be able to have the life and pay your bills. So don't give us money if you're unable to. But um, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and you know, have a good day.